the Lock Beard Phenomena, number 58, Thumb and On. It's August 20th, 2022. Mr. Lee sort of uh, puts put a direction on tonight because of a link he sent to me um, from uh, a YouTube channel called Miss, Mr. Duffy 81. Or is it 82? I forget, Mr. Lee. It's got a number on there. <clears throat> Anyway, the, the dudes making fun of Bigfoot and non. I thought it was hilarious. And about 10 seconds flat, I was hitting the subscribe button, which I later regretted because this guy was a complete, fully assembled asshole um, when I commented. So let's see who's here. Mr. Lee, of course, first in the. First in here, Mark Dobman says, uh, good day, Mr. Lee. Lockbeer may not be able to catch the whole show as I have to head out this morning. No big deal, man. You're heading off next month for five days. We'll be fishing with my grandsons on the Murray River, which is the border between New South Wales and Victoria. Have a good time. Yeah, Mr. Lee knew you were going fishing. Mr. Lee <laughs> will miss... <laughs> You're quoting, uh, you're quoting Steve Ishtal now. <laughs> um, will Dr. Meldum be making an appearance on the show, Locker, asking for a friend? Well, um, like Mr. Duffy, I have some reservations about Dr. Meldrum. I don't know. I don't know what's really the deal with him, right? Um, I feel like I feel like the the mainstream would uh, influence the guy not to not to not to be involved um, unless he was somehow actually part of part of the the machine to direct people's opinion about about what the forest people really are and. You know, because he's he he. I don't know. Maybe he's changed what he's been saying, but he was saying that it's that he thinks it's some kind of you know ape. And as I've told you all, the the observations do not fit with that. The footprints that look to be legit, you know, hopefully they're legit. Though those are not. That's not. A, that's not. A, that's not a great ape. That's a human footprint. It's a big one. It's big, but it's it's straight up 100% goddamn human. There's no freaking denying it. Anyone who is uh, the least bit honest, and and and, and understands that because you know because there's been people trying to push this whole idea of convergent evolution. Um, I, I tried showing you guys before what convergent evolution actually is, and that this is this is not convergent evolution. This footprint is not. And uh, but uh, no, I don't feel any need to talk to Dr. Meldrum until if at some point I feel like his legitimacy has been proven. I, I don't really care to talk to him. So no, Timmy boys here. Welcome. Uh, Mr. Lee says that she helped look so rubbish. It does, man. You know the as much as I hate the new look of the Hulk, the whole change with that, which we talked about before. Um, I don't. I don't like it. It's fucking stupid. Um, I know they're supposed to be a professional Hulk. Blah 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 blah. They made him look stupid. Well, really, they fuck. They they've been fucking us up ever since they they lost uh, Norton. But um, um, cause this guy, yeah. Anyway, anyway, the the She Hulk looks like absolute crap. The 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 CGI. You think they would be able to make it look better than that? It just it just you might as well just get out the fucking uh, comic books. 
So yeah, plus the it's just there's just from the clips and stuff that I've seen so far, it just looks like crap, crap writing, crap everything. Danny's here, welcome. B Lynn's here, welcome. Sandra Piper, welcome. Meredith's here. Oh, stupid chat. Disappeared for a second, but it's back. Meredith, welcome. She says, uh, not late, Mr. Lee. Didn't miss everything again. No, you did not. Danny says, greetings from Miss Car uh, from South Carolina. Greetings from o Oklahoma. Danny, uh, current headquarters for the Eternus Empire, which has ruled the entire planet since 2005, whether the entire planet knows it or not. <laughs> Ungrateful. Whole damn planet. Ungrateful. Y'all, y'all, half of you crying for a government that keeps hands off. Haven't I kept my hands off? <laughs> Lynn says, hello, everyone. Listening in tonight as I'm getting home. Awesome. Deb, uh, the, uh, Deb the Web is here. Welcome. Meredith says, uh, hey, the beginning of the message, I didn't show up. This phone is possessed. Well, Rex Hand is here. Welcome. Uh, B. Lynn says, hope everyone is doing well. Angel's here. Welcome. Donald's here. Welcome. Says, hi, folks. I'm on my phone. So greetings to all. Yep, he is here, Mr. Lee. You summoned him. Meredith says, Rex and my people, hello to you all. Lockbeard, I hope your day was good. It was good enough. It's good enough. Debit bless is fully symbols. Always had to work on mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, this dude. I completely uncalled for um, his, his comments back to me. Meredith says, Sandra, I hope you had a nice day and feeling better daily. Donald says, Mr. Lee, I'm here and only be around for a select few shows. Yeah, I've been checked out after stuff. Yeah. Mr. Lee says, Mr. Duffy, you can watch him. Well, we're about to watch some of that, Mr. Lee. It's, uh, it's interesting. Um... We're not going to watch the whole damn video, obviously. Um, I really, after the way he responded to me, I I don't want to. I don't want to send him any subscribers. That's for sure. He's it was just completely uncalled for. Um, some of the bullshit he said. Meredith says, "Don't forget to hit that like button, and then make a comment after the show is over, please. It helps Mr. Lockbeard out, and we all should be kind to him. He's a truth teller. I'm trying. I'm trying." Um, some people don't seem to um, appreciate my efforts. <laughs> um, but hopefully one day they do. Hopefully one day they understand that I was trying to help them become better able to discern what the truth is and not be a uh, victim to uh, uh, many things that can fool you in the world. Um, Tim Boy says, no intro. What disrespect, Lockbeard? Well, um, Timmy, I'm having enough trouble maintaining control. <laughs> the, uh, it's hot and the computer is protesting. So, um, I'm fine, but the computer just doesn't like it when it's this warm. It should start cooling off here shortly and it might start working better, but it's so spastic right now. Like if I try to play those those intro vids, it just it just it jacks it jacks up. At least on my end, it's jacked. It might be coming through to you guys just fine, but it's jacked up on my end. Um, and the chat's jumping, chat's jumping. Hold on a second. A uh, little Kilroy, damn, Mister Duffy tore Lockbeard. Oh, did you see that shit? That was crazy. Uh, Meredith says, oh boy, he's going to be way behind in the chat. Look how, how many people have commented already. At least 10 X's. Well, I seem to be caught up now. Um, Tame Boy says, no excuse. Yeah. 
So I mean, let's uh, let's uh, we'll we'll watch a bit of the video, and um, because I mean, it, it is funny as fuck, <laughs> but uh, um, what happened afterwards was just I'm like, what? Seriously? I mean, are you are you really being serious right now, dude? Man, talk about Man, talk fucking about poser, poser. Look at these fucking, these posers, fucking right here. posers right here. Posing, posing for the picture. Yup, that's how they're tricking you. Propaganda. Put it out there, propaganda. Look, Connor's like the newest Bigfoot porn star. Getting fucking turned out by all the fucking Bigfoot celebs, all the podcasts. Getting pimped out. He loves it. He's got so much excitement and energy for it. He talks like he fucking retarded. Because I was on fucking drugs. I don't know what is this dude. I just I don't know how people can stand him. He's a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. He's coming waltzing through the fucking Bigfoot community, spinning around, dancing like a belligerent dumb fuck at the party. And it's like he's bumping into everybody. Everybody's treating him like, oh, you're so cool. No, you're a fucking buffoon. You're going through fucking just, you're everywhere. When, I don't know how you do it. Like, are you just fucking selling drugs in the meanwhile? Driving around the country, like selling drugs and going to Bigfoot conferences? I have no idea. Are you making money on Facebook and doing this? I'm just curious, like, how you find the time. I'm just, I know I'm pretty busy in life. I'm just wondering. I mean, I'm not on Facebook. And furthermore, I'm not jealous of anyone. I'm just, I point out the stupidity and the audacity of people like this dumb fuck hugging and sucking double agent dick in the Bigfoot community. Like, how about fucking you call Jeff Meldrum out on fucking the denial of the fucking upload of the fucking hundreds of Sasquatch footprints in the mud from Illinois that he's in denial of. Oh no, he's a celebrity. I gotta fucking attach myself to him like a fucking barnacle and like ride the wave. Like, hey guys, look at me. I'm a barnacle on Jeff Meldrum's dick. Look at me. Fucking little queer ass bitch fucking so fucking annoying to fucking and then you're over there cool avengers on your fucking on this video you walk through gatlinburg tennessee the hell a hollywood cool everything's cool everything's amazing whoa blah. It's like chill fuck out retard go sober for a few years you talk like you're perma tripping how many fucking times did you just od on fucking hallucinogenics you're toast motherfucker you're toast you're like a fucking six inch fucking deep lake that's spread out for miles you're a fucking huge fucking puddle you're not that impressive bitch so fucking annoyed at your simplicity, skimming over the fucking top of the Bigfoot world. I, I touched this thing. I got my pin in the map here. I was here. You're a fucking Bigfoot tourist, faggot. You fucking little fuck. Skinny ass little bitch. You're a fucking Bigfoot tourist. Yeah, that's Mr. Duffy81 talking about Bigfoot Anon. And this video here uh, he put up where he's with Jeff Meldrum um, at the conference. So let me let me check how chat. Let me make well one make sure I'm being heard. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, um, what had happened was, uh, Joe, is that Mr. Lee, I had originally I had I, I was already planning on talking about this thumb thing with Bigfoot and on that he claims is anyway. We'll get into that. I'm going to go ahead and do it tonight because Mr. Lee sent me this video and it's like, well, if I'm going to address this a little bit, I might as well go ahead and address Big Foot and On. And maybe Mr. Duffy watches and he sees that and he's like, yeah. But, dude, the way he came at me in the, in, in the, in the comments, I'm going to turn this around on Mr. Duffy shortly. <laughs> um. Anyway, so he's talking about he's talking about Bigfoot and on. That's um, uh, Mr. Duffy eighty one, and uh, so we'll go over what the what happened in the comments in a second. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's James Jameson Duffy. I don't know that. I don't know his full name. Um, Angel says to Joe, good group question. Good question. Some show that was on last night or not long ago. Donald says, if so, he's class a homophobe. I, he, I, he sounds like he may be. I don't know about that for sure. Joe says, so what? I have pictures of me and Jeff Meldrum. Yeah, this guy, I, you know, I just thought, I thought the video was funny a little bit much and, and there's some things that Mr. Duffy says I agree with, and there's some things I don't agree with. But I thought the video was funny as hell. <laughs> um, 
despite their despite some of the shit that was just going a little too far and incorrect or un, or whatever but um um mr lee I, I don't think he has any good evidence at all in fact i think that he has dick for evidence and i think we're going to see we we of course you can't really prove that without being there but there's some things that look like some indications that he is completely full of shit and he has an agenda, a certain narrative that he wants to fulfill. And if you don't, if you're not 100% in alignment with that, he's going to call you a little bitch. He's going to attack you just like he attacks uh, Bigfoot Anon. And, um, but what I see, what, what I haven't seen the whole lot of his channel because I can't stand to watch anymore, but we're going to watch a little bit of it. And I think after these few videos, people are going to be like, yeah, this guy's so full of shit, it's insane. Uncle Bones is here. Welcome. Welcome, Uncle Bones. Mr. Lee says, I should have warned you, Lockbear. <laughs> well, we've all seen Mr. Duffy around the chats a little bit, so um, it was probably just a matter of time. I was going to run across this guy. Joe says, I'm better, folks. Starting to feel like my old self. Good to hear, Joe. Plus, he wears vans. What the hell? <laughs> Donald says, I don't get YouTube letting this community get away with the threats. He went after Richter with death threats. Did, did this guy do that? Really? Because he don't like homosexuals? Holy shit, dude. I, I wasn't aware of that. I need to, I probably need to, maybe I do need to check out more of his channel. I mean, if he's another one of those kind of douche nozzles. Dude, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Richter, man. Rick, hey, fuck it. All I can say is don't let him on your camera, dude. He'll start talking about, well, you saw what happened last time. But <laughs> there's, <laughs> you don't make death threats and you don't hate him because he's gay. You hate him because of some of his actions, perhaps. But uh, everyone's so sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. It's really says Uncle Bones. Hey, you knucklehead. So um, we'll, we'll we'll take a quick look at because I'm afraid you know times time flies so um, I'm afraid we're not gonna so so here's what I commented I commented Connor pisses me off to no end a flat earther inserted inserted into the subject paints us all in a bad light in the eyes of the general public the algorithm is a bitch for any of us after the real truth in many subjects YouTube constantly shaves my subs can't even break through hundred. Not allowed, I guess. Seeing you around on occasion in some chats. I'm going to have to talk a little bit about this on my live stream tonight. Um, Mr. Lee sent this to me. I subscribed in 10 seconds flat. And that's true. So this is a positive. I, went, I don't know why he could have any kind of problem with what was said here or why he would be mad. But, but I think he kind of reveals it. I think he kind of reveals it. Uh, Mr. Duffy says, the Squatch Talk people are no better. I responded to Mr. Duffy. Are you thinking of Patrick Vaughn? He used to hang out there and mod because Pat has run him off and he has been exposed. But Pat himself is definitely not colluding with the government and wants legit evidence and truth, just as I do. Mr. Duffy responded to me. I don't even trust you. Who the hell are you kidding? The entire group known as the tall ones are full of shit and anybody supports them is supporting a more than likely sponsored attempt at putting the brakes on sasquatch truth by denying sasquatch evidence like structures and claiming nobody sees bigfoot build them so that they can't prove it it's just people casting doubt and those people should be kicked in the balls and if you come around me with those type of people you will be quickly dealt with you seem to be associating with those types of people and i'm not interested in hearing any explanation as to why they are doing what they're doing and acting the way that they are acting. It's very clear that the, there is an agenda, regardless of what you claim. No, Mr. Duffy, I'm going to respond to that right now. No, Mr. Duffy, there's not the only agenda here is what's the goddamn truth. What can you prove? I haven't seen any structure. Well, there might be one or two that's like, okay, that one I'm not 100% sure. I can't. But for the most part, it looks like complete bullshit, including the structures you show on your channel. Mr. Duffy, you fucking dumbass. Okay, so anyway, I responded to Mr. Duffy. Why not? Is your requirements, what, what is your requirements to trust someone? Are you paranoid of all people? Are you the only one with the answers? 
As for the structures, can you provide one piece of concrete proof that they have anything to do with Sasquatch? Of course, first we must prove that Sasquatch even exists. Can you show actual evidence of that? I am 99% certain that they are, but you are not helping your case by behaving this way towards me. It looks to me like you may have an agenda and you are really all about confirmation bias. You already know you have very little scientific. I already know you have very little scientific ability. I studied many sciences, including evolutionary biology. It is quite solid. Quantum physics, on the other hand, has holes like Swiss cheese. So you act like this if you want. But I am in this to separate the BS from the truth. And while you may be entertaining with this video about flat tarred Flynn, what little I've seen of your channel looks like mostly BS. And if there was a chance, I would give, give some more of your videos a chance with my valuable time. You have thrown it out the window by coming at me like a prick. I'll just take back that subscription while I'm back here at your video addressing your rude replies. Mr. Duffy says you are not welcome here. He says, Lockbeard, go out in the field. Do some research, you loser. You haven't proven you even know what you're talking about to be asking for any explanation. I have identified he was a moron long ago. If you want to change that perception, it's up to you. I think he's talking about uh, Pat, that he's saying he identified as a moron. So what a, what a complete clusterfuck that turned into. So... Something to Sasquatch is here. He says, should change his name to Unhinged Reality. Yeah. Um, he, he He's actually, he's naming some of the people that are, are people you would think, because, you know, I mean, at first I thought, well, he's, you know, he, he's rejecting Connor. He's probably on the more logical side of the, of the subject, but. You know, it turns out he's not, and looking through his channel, he's really, really not. So now I'm confused why he has an issue with Bigfoot and Non, unless he, unless the problem is, is he has an issue with Meldrum, and Bigfoot and Non is here. Um, uh, apparently, oh wait a minute, I thought his hand was on his ass, but it looks like he's got a his hand. He's got his arm around him. At any rate, that's a little too. I, I'm, that's, I'm a little. I don't. I'm not very touchy feely. <laughs> Um, you know, you need to leave it like at least two feet between you two, uh, you, you men now stop that anyway. <laughs> uh, is it Richter though? Donald, Sean, amen. Amen. Um, Joe says, uh, I don't like this style of YouTuber. So he's got beefs. I don't care if his, his feelings are hurt by something or someone. Team boy says, Sean, great show last week. Yes, it was. Gary says, uh, oh, well, oh, well, it's the one, the only me. Uh, Donald says, hey, boy, I don't have a problem with Richter. He opened my eyes to a lot of BS in the subject. Yeah, it was just that, you know, what he did on that show a while back was a little uncalled for. Um, stick to the subject, Richter. Stick to the subject. Team Boy says Richter should come. I think, well, whose show was he on? Uh, they all run together sometimes. Team Boy, true that also. Uncle Bone says, I, I know dog man stack, stack rocks, so they have a place to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe says, okay, I see how this guy is, Mr. Lee. This is what you call cool <laughs> the guy is all about conspiracy I, man that made me think of of uh crocodile dundee i wish i had that crocodile dundee clip where he says this is what you this is what cool is <laughs> or this is what you call cool is it storm storm the castle uncle bones there aren't any fire hydrants in the forest yeah there aren't there are not you need to stack some rocks. The the Timmy was this is his definition of a troll, nothing more. He's hilarious. I think he is. I think he's a total goddamn fucking troll. I mean, if he's if he if he's legit, it's hilarious how ridiculous some of the shit on his channel is. You know, and he also mentioned he mentioned 
somewhere in his fit, he's talking about Bigfoot Anon taking his name from either QAnon or from Bigfoot Anonymous. Bigfoot Anonymous has been was posting Bigfoot videos years before Connor Flynn was on his channel. And uh, so, but Bigfoot Anonymous is not a good, I mean, that guy posted this video of a dead raccoon and had it labeled as a chupacabra. It was a dead raccoon. It was a goddamn, I mean, the fur was all gone except for a little tufts here and there, but it was clearly a goddamn raccoon. <laughs> Bigfoot Anonymous. Put that up. Uh, Gary says, uh, not Bigfoot Anon. Gary says, I'm being recognized. Good evening, those in the chat. Welcome, Gary. We'll try to be. I got I got bigger fish to fry tonight than you, so I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Angel says, we he would have been a shock jock back in the day. Not my idea of a good show. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Lee says, Joe, some of his vids are good. You watched him? Um. Hello, Gary, says Timmy. Uh, Sean says, Gary, we like you more than Mr. Duffy for sure. Yeah. So I'm going to address the thumb first, and then I'll go back and hit some Duffy stuff. D Danny says he's jealous of Connor and on is in the movies, writes books, actually goes in the field instead of talking about Duff as a goof. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know why people keep telling me go out. All I know, say, look, just, you know, I spend a lot of times in the woods doing other stuff other than trying to, because... I, you know, I think I've gone back and forth through my whole life. You know, do I believe this thing? Do I not believe this thing? I'm not really sure. Um, can I, can, am I going to be able to catch this fucking thing? No, I can catch snakes and shit. That's what I was after. Turtles, you know, obviously, I know I, I like turtles. Um, it was just a point. It seemed like a, like a pointless pursuit. You know, it's a lot of time, you know, and I didn't film stuff. I don't, I, you know, I've only really recently started getting getting to where i filmed some stuff you know i used to take a few pictures here and there but i've never been good about taking pictures let alone filming stuff it's just because i just go out there and do stuff and i'm like who the fuck wants to look at this i guess some people do <laughs> um so the the idea that just because i don't got stuff on youtube means i've never like set foot in the woods is goddamn ridiculous i mean seriously do a hunt? No. But, uh, but plenty of fishing, that kind of stuff. Not, and I, I haven't done that in a while, though. I've kind of stopped. Yeah. That, that, the whole fuck situation will be addressed later. Not tonight, though. Donald says Timmy Boy is a little salty tonight. Is he? Joe says, whether you, I like Connor or not, I'm not going to pick on the guy. That does nothing for me. Yeah, and I'm certainly not going to talk about him like this guy did here. This was, although it was hilarious, it was also, it was it was uncalled for, it really was. I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to call him names and stuff like that. That's not really, you know, I try not to call people names. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, Mr. Duffy's making it hard right now because he does, the, the people, I feel like a, that that's how he wants to be addressed himself, right? Isn't that how you treat people the way you want to be treated yourself? So, Mr. Duffy, I'm going to, you know, have no problem calling you a douchebag tonight. <laughs> um, and and I think he is completely full of shit, um, unless he can prove one goddamn thing he's claimed on this channel. I don't think he can. I mean, some of the ridiculous claims is, is just crazy. Timmy Boy says, dumb light, new phone, so aggravating. Just boards here, welcome. Um, Mr. Lisa's boots on the ground, lock beer boots on. Yeah, people always say that shit. Man, kiss my ass. Yeah, because that's that, that's their defense, right? When when they can't stand up to scrutiny, their their way of defending themselves is, well, I don't see you doing anything. Wow, <laughs> shit, dude. Seriously, that's your that's your response. You're supposed to defend your bullshit and your claims. And the turtles, I like watching the snakes not so much as Angel. Yeah. Well, usually snakes aren't trapped on the road. Although I have stopped to like shoe snakes, you know, off the road because they're sitting there because they're trying to keep warm or something. 
Um, the problem with that is, as the car comes along, there are people who aim for snakes. And so I've stopped and shooed everything, copperheads even, off the road. Um, so Gary says, myself, I don't like to hashtag anyone. Therefore, I don't know Mr. Duff. Yeah, Mr. Duff's douche nozzle. Yeah, did I say it? I don't even remember saying it. Did I say that? <laughs> I don't even remember saying it, Uncle Bones. Oracles and Beyond, good to see you. Oracles and Beyond here, welcome, welcome. Um, okay. Let me let me pull this. Let me pull this off. And. Um, We let's let's look at this this uh let's look at this thumb supposed thumb and well let, let's let's just catch a of a little bit of the video on Bigfoot and Nons. Let me take that down real quick. Let's catch a little bit of the video on Bigfoot and Nons channel first all right this is a fossil i found in the local creek here in mariana florida um it's definitely a hominid thumb bone it's belongs to something that would have been much bigger than what i am and from what I know, that there was no hominid species other than Homo sapiens on, in Florida at any time. Um, they just didn't evolve here. So anybody wonder what's, why they never found any remains of Bigfoot? Well, they did. They just they swept it under the rug. Swept it under the rug, man. That's... And we're pretty big guys, six foot two, six foot three. And this is about twice as big as our thumb bone. So you can tell that this is actual thumb bone. It's heavy too. It's very um, heavy. It's also very old. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks petrified. petrified. All right, let me. Uh, oh, pan. And get stopped. It, it fully played. So, oh well. I guess that works. I don't know. I think I had the speed sped up on a lot of these because they're just talking too slow. But, um, Let me get that out of here. So you saw, I took some pic when he's first when he's rolling around. So I got pictures of the bone from the video from three different angles, and uh, right there. And um, so that's his bone. That's not the three. One of those pictures was on the thumbnail. It was the first picture on the left. The second two pictures were bones from two totally different animals. But these three pictures here are three different angles of of uh, of uh, that the supposed hominid thumb bone in Florida. Nothing but the narrative. Question the narrative, you're the enemy, says Joe. Yes, that is true. Um, Donald Fuller says, Mr. Lee, you know he's lurking so he can report back to Vault. Yeah, fuck Vault. Uh, <laughs> uh, Angel says, I would have to carry a broom or shovel to shoot the snakes. Turtles will pick up and move unless a big snapper. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, a big if it's a big enough snapping turtle, you're more likely to get hurt trying to move that than any snake i mean seriously those suckers are dangerous and they cannot uh just where says joe when you're when you question them and they cannot answer it makes them look weak and stupid you know and i hey i, I don't think any of us really like we're not in this to make people look weak and stupid we are trying to um 
because I value a community of people interested in the subject who are able to look past bullshit and not become bamboozled or fooled by, you know, things like pareidolia and other kind of uh, other kind of shenanigans. Um, because that's a that's a that's a mass of people, and everyone's poking around here and there, all around the country, all around the world, and we're more likely to find something legit. But we're not going to find something legit. Like everyone says, well, go we'll find something yourself. Okay, again, that person has uh, is that's their defense mechanism, right? Because that's not that's not even remotely reasonable to say. Because the fact is, is some people look their whole lives and never. There's no degree of chance, and they're never lucky enough to run across any kind of cryptid. So that person knows damn good and well somewhere in their subconscious, at least, that they're making a ridiculous uh, response to you, but um, they do it anyway. And uh, Danny says, it looks like a wild pig phone to me, just saying. Uh, Meredith says, uh, yes, my phone has a mind of its own. It really does. Yeah, yeah. Joe says should it should be verified verified by at least an independent source, not just one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Damn fingers, three. Damn it, three. <laughs> Donald says just for can you see my comments? He says yes. Joe just type three. Yeah, we see him. Okay, so um. So let's let's go through. I, uh, it's just a, this is, I didn't make this too damn long, but I got uh, two possible theories. I think uh, uh, actually, um, Danny has one too, and uh, but I, that's not the ones I got on here. But um, anyway, but it is mentioned. It is, it will be mentioned though. Um, so those are the three angles of the picture from the video. We're going to take the one in the middle and we're going to turn it over so that we can more easily compare it to these pictures. These are white tailed deer. Um, let me get my picture out of the way. Look, look, those look very similar to that bone. These are the toe bones out of a white tailed deer. Also found in Florida, by the way. And I think the rest of these that I have pictures of were also, were found in Florida too. Um, there's some more. Very very similar. I favor the white-tailed deer, but again, I am no expert. That's why they need to take this bone to an expert. But because we're dealing with someone who doesn't uh, verify shit for the truth, and even if it does, like this guy denies. NASA, you know, he denies that he thinks Earth's flat, so he's not dealing with science. If science tells him that this is not a uh, that this is not a, a, a hominid thumb bone, he will reject it and say there's a conspiracy. That's what he will say. He will not accept that this is probably the bone of. White-tailed deer, or one, there's a couple other options. A couple other options. Danny gave one of them. Um, I don't. I didn't really include that one in this, but uh, again, I wasn't quite ready to do this one. But um, Mr. Lee's sending that video just kind of accelerated this, so here we are. Um, again, white-tailed deer toes. We'll uh, blow up one of those pictures to compare it more closely to. Uh, the uh, picture on the left, the, the supposed uh, Bigfoot anonymous thumb bone um, looks very, very, very similar to white-tailed deer toes. And, of course, there's this. Alligator toe. That's an alligator toe bone. Um, also looks very similar to this. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody that lives in Florida can tell me, are there any alligators in Florida? <laughs> Is there any alligators in Florida? Let me catch up in chat before we continue. Um, uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, wild pig bone. Uh, Michelet says, Donald, I can't. Uh... Ah, the stupid things. Cooperate. Damn it. There we go. Uh, Mr. Lee says, Donald, I can't understand Barry Brain. Anger, really? No reason for it. Yeah, well, because if you question, if you question 168, he takes it personally because he was there. No one said anything specific about him. And he also, because he does what a lot of people do, they start filling in the blanks like that whole shit that happened with me last week. People start filling in the blanks the way they, they think it is, and it's not really the way it is. So he filled it in that I was saying that they did that thing when I said no, when what I was say, trying to say anyway, and maybe, I, maybe I, it came out wrong, but people usually who are discerning people can figure out when someone is misspoken what they actually meant. What I meant was I wouldn't put it past them to fake something. Pat was on here and actually said that there that's actually what the fuck is happening in some cases at least. So you know, I'd like to see I like I would like to see evidence of that. That would be just where can you see my comment? Oh, I already did that part, didn't I? Thumb bone. Well well uh There are several bones in there. There are several bones in there. Okay, you have you have a uh, you have uh, your like your metatarsals in your hand. Basically, they're in your hand. You you have you, you have a proximal and a medial or intermediate and a distal. Distal. Don't you remember your anatomy? Distal, intermediate or medial, proximal. You know. And so I don't know which one they're trying to say this is. Probably proximal. Probably a proximal. But um, but we'll kind of get into a little bit more. You know, because it, it, hold on, just hold on. Don says couldn't see my la your last comment. My phone wasn't sure if I accidentally blocked you. Uh, yeah, it looks a whole lot like it. Yeah, yeah. So either the deer or the alligator. Like, I don't have the expertise to say whether it is the deer or the alligator, but I I think it looks more like the deer to me. Gear. Guess the deer. None does not fit the narrative, Lockbeard. I know it doesn't fit the narrative. Damn it. If I would just make my explanation fit the narrative, everybody would accept it. <laughs> um. I think there are a few alligators in Florida. Are you sure? You said there's alligators. I don't, you know, some people say that. I don't know. Has anyone actually seen the alligator? Did, 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 wasn't there a Bigfooter down there that saw an alligator crawling across a path, but he claimed it was a Bigfoot? Oh, shit. Did I say that? <laughs> no arm. I don't get easily offended. Uh, just one or two gators in Florida, says Sanders. Just one or two. Uh, but but as Danny pointed out, pig, and there are pigs in Florida too. So um, a big one wanted to eat him because when he was kayaking. Oh, so Jay actually witnessed a uh, this other cryptid called an alligator in Florida. <laughs> um. I mean, it's funny to me. I mean, the reason why, you know, because, you know, we haven't truly confirmed Bigfoots in Florida. And, but we know for sure there's a bunch of deer and alligators in Florida and pigs, uh, all of which could possibly be what this bone is from. And something else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, it's actually in the study that I'm going to read the synopsis or the uh, introduction to it uh, in a minute here. Um, thank you for clearing that up, Sean says, Timmy Boy. Uh, Mr. Lisa, the big fan non claims it's a Sasquatch bone. Yeah. Yeah. They were claiming it was a, well, no, not, not in the video. They didn't say that specifically. They said that this was the thumb bone of a hominid. That was definitely a thumb bone of a, a hominid. No problem. Expert says Sean. <laughs> Donald says, what happened with Pat last night? I got a notification, but there was no, yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, maybe I guess he just decided not to have a show. 
He swimmer heads on larger gator. He fought it off, but lucky to be alive. Expert all along. Yep, expert. Watch for a bit and nothing. Joe says gator has more of a curve, so I would say it looks more like the whitetail. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm leaning towards the whitetail deer, but. Um, I would, it would be awesome if these guys would take it to an actual expert and, uh, have it confirmed for what it is. Um, obviously they've been handling the shit out of it. So DNA and isotopic age dating is not going to be, it's not going to work. It's been contaminated, but, um, morphological analysis should uh, determine what it is. Um, let's go connect them to dry bones. Watched a while. <clears throat> uh, Gary says, if a Bigfoot can grip things, where are the bend? Just saying. Gary. Gary, that's one bone. But that, that right there is just one bone. It's not every bone in the thumb. There's there's multiple bones. That, that, that bone, this bone. See, I got one bone here, right? Pro a proximal. And it, and it doesn't. It doesn't bend. The bone don't bend. It bends between the two bones, right? Well, that's a medial there. But um, it bends between the two bones, right? That's one short segment of a finger. It's not the whole finger. <laughs> it's not the whole thumb. Well, it's not even, I don't even think it's a thumb. I think it's a toe from one of these other animals. Um, Joe says, stop, lock period, just stop. An expert wouldn't confirm the narrative, so it will never go to one. I know, I know. Let's see here. Let's, 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 let's move on, let's move on. Um, so, yeah, alligator toe. So, there's the, there's the three pictures again um, of, the, of the one bone. That's one bone, that's three different angles. So, we're going to look at the two. The right and the left one there and compare them again with this picture here just to get another look now the uh the deer toe um the deer toes that the one on the far right is a little long to compare but i think the one the the left deer toe there uh it, it looks pretty close to what we're seeing uh in the left picture of the Bigfoot Anon bone. And there's the alligator toe again to compare. Again, um, some degree of similarity, but I think the deer bones match better. I do think they do. So this is... Um, <clears throat> this was a study. Um, if you search the title, you can go look into it if you want. Um, having to do with this exact kind of thing where you have animal bones that look so similar to human bones that some people might make a mistake. So you need to have, you know, you need to be able to, to make the distinction. Um, title is American Alligator Proximal Pedal Chain Phalanges uh, Resemble Human Bones. Diagnostic criteria for forensic investigators. Um, so the abstract, the scientific approach to bone and tooth identification requires analysts to pursue the goal of empirical falsification. That is, they may attribute a question specimen to element and taxon only after having ruled out all other possible attributions. This requires analysts to possess a thorough understanding of both human and non-human osteology, particularly so for remains that uh, may be morphologically similar across taxa. To date, forensic anthropologists have identified several potential mimics for human skeletal remains, including pig teeth and bear claws. Here we document another possible mimic for isolated human skeletal elements, the proximal pedal phalanges of American alligators. Alligator mississippiensis closely resemble the proximal and intermediate hand phalanges of adult humans. We detail morphological similarities and differences between these elements with the goal of providing sufficient information for investigators confidently falsify the hypothesis that a question 
phalanx is derived from an American alligator. Um, I know I read that fast, so you know, slow it down on the replay or something. I don't know, but um, uh, it's interesting stuff. Diagnostic criteria for forensic investigators. Um, forensic investigator who I don't think um, the guys in the video qualify um, for that, but um, they're specifically dealing with this 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 thing. Like you wouldn't think there would be a bone in the alligator that that looks similar to a bone in a human, but there is. So let me check the chat. Um. Where was I at? Donald's. Uncle Bone says, uh, Joe agreed to whitetail. Yeah, I think the whitetail definitely looks closer to, to, to me. Nick, you had a music trivia. Uncle Bones, Ezekiel connected them dry bones. I think I, I've gone back and, yeah, here we go. I think this is where I stopped at. Can't, got to confirm the narrative. Your girlfriend's laughing? Why? Uh, Donald says, sure, the heck looks the same to me. Who was Connor's buddy that was saying this? Is he an expert on human bones? Um, I didn't see a name given. I didn't see a name given. But um, I, I just don't know. Uh, Joe says, yes, pig's teeth are very similar to human teeth. Danny says, um, I wonder 34 people uh, reading a chat, but only 13 commenting. So who's just listening for some reason? That's intriguing to me more than an ass bone. <laughs> uh Gary says, uh, just saying with the chance it could be Bigfoot weighing and was caught short. What the hell? Chicken leg 71, welcome. So, so you know, I, I, I hopefully, um, hopefully we were pretty respectful about, uh, about addressing this bone thing you know you can't you know you can't just assume a bone that you don't know what it is um is a hominid or bigfoot just because it supports you know what you want it to be this release has hit it you knuckleheads Now, I imagine, I imagine if Mr. Duffy's watching, he, he wanted me to, you know, cuss him, cuss him out for this and, and just go way over the top about it. It wasn't necessary, you know, it's, I think everybody can see from those pictures and if you want, you can go, you know, do some digging on your own and check and say, look, you know, I think, uh, I think this is probably a deer bone. You know, it's not not uh, until we until there's some confirmation of a large hominid, um, which I had some. I should have. Uh, there were some pictures. Um, I, I had some pictures comparing some phalanges with alligator, but I don't know what I did with them. Um, anyway, I think if you search for them, you can find them where you can see that there is some similarity with human phalanges with uh with alligator but um but it it what the pictures i saw it was it was different enough that that it wasn't even worth to me it wasn't really worth looking at compared to the pictures uh of the deer the deer toe the deer toe was so similar to what he had in his hand that that there's just i i think it's deer i think, I think it's a deer toe 
So, um, so yeah, that. Uh, so let's look. We we got a we got a. <clears throat> Since Mr. Duffy wanted to be such a total prick earlier, we're gonna have to take a look at some of his stuff and see what uh, what he what he what he has. And uh, you know, so we got this video. Can uh, Sasquatch turn into other animals? I wonder. At least he put that on there. At least he put that. I, I wonder. Um, he says the squirrel sat in one place for minutes without moving its body, except for its head, a couple times. It seemed very strange to me. Also, it had its paw on a bark structure that had been recently created. Um, this is what he calls a a structure. Um. He mentions flooding in other part, other other videos and stuff. So this to me looks like uh, uh, just uh, flood debris that got caught up in those trees right there, and then the water went down and left it sitting. There is not a goddamn structure here, um, by far. I tried to like communicate with it mentally, you know, when I saw it, we locked eyes. And then I asked it, are you the little Sasquatch? Can you transmute into an animal? Because, you know, here at this structure area where they build. But my little friend has been sitting here for over a minute in the same position, just staring at me. And I find it to be very odd. I can't even get the squirrels at my house to stick around for one second and we feed them. And if I open the door, they are gone. They bolt little friend it's like he wanted to be on the video today hmm. i've seen juvenile in this area it's interesting to hear stories about sasquatch turning into animals of course there's stories i don't hear a lot of first-hand accounts of it but sometimes i wonder what's going on with animals and sasquatch in that relationship <clears throat> So you're getting too close to where this squirrel wants to be, and he's just sitting there keeping your, his eye on you. And you think this is so strange you can start even lightly suggesting that Sasquatch turns into squirrels and claiming that what we saw here was a structure. Uh, does anybody see a structure here? Laughing at your bones. Donnie Deucebag, of course you can, man. Joe says he has a picture standing with Meldrum. Did he ever show Meldrum this bone? Meldrum does have expertise on bones of hominid feet. Um, I'm going to guess probably not. Or if he did, Meldrum may have told him, say, dude, that's, that's a fucking deer. <laughs> I suggest you just quietly drop the thumb bone thing and if anyone brings it change it brings it up change the subject <laughs> donald says yes mr lee duffy will be the one to solve the sasquatch question this is no because meldrum wouldn't support the narrative either yeah told you duff is a major goof says danny i think they all look the same um now, I, I looked around, you know, I'm not going to show a bunch, too much of this stuff, but but there was other stuff where he was showing structures, and, and none of these structures um, can be proven to be made by a Sasquatch. Some of them look like somebody built them, but it could have been people, just the same. Um, like, one of them was right there on the beach, and so you're going to tell me Sasquatch is coming out to build a structure on a beach, and... Well, you know, where clearly there's people been there and, and you're there and it's wide open. And, I, you know, I, I no, I can't trust him. I can't trust him. You know, the shit he just claims everything Sasquatch. Um, it's it's crazy. Gary says at times people say what big hands we have got when their weight over exceeds their height. What now? I see a fallen tree. Yeah, I mean, it's just tree dead trees that have fallen and it looks to me like there was the water level came up and 
pushed a bunch of these these branches into this one spot. This looks like normal uh, flooding debris. Trigger fingers. Sounds right. Gary says maybe blind, made things like that. Uh, your sentence structure, man. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, I've seen many structures. I don't know if it's Sasquatch or live pictures. Joe says, what structures? So random wood piles or Sasquatch structures? Wait, I forgot what crowd I was dealing with. Silly question. Yeah, he thinks that's, he think, so he's saying that's a structure there. And uh, Yes, it's normal mind. squirrel behaviors, Mr. Duffy. In fact, sometimes a squirrel will do some shit you wouldn't believe. Because apparently you're you're just confused. Um, I've had squirrels throw shit on my head because they didn't like me getting too close to their tree. This squirrel is probably trying to figure out if he can fucking take you. He's trying to figure... I think this squirrel's thinking, you know, I think I can kick this guy's ass. He looks... He looks like a total dweeb. He looks like a total douche nozzle. I think I can take this motherfucker. Donald says, just another goof that smears everything in Bigfoot sauce. Oh, yeah. Bigfoot This it, it gets better. Hold on. It, it's a flood structure, says Danny Boy. Yeah, it's just flooding debris. Yeah, it's just flooding de flood debris. Send the structures? No, thank you, Mr. Lee. I don't buy into this structure nonsense. Um, this guy said, this guy is, is off his freaking nut. He, he's talking shit on the tall ones because of a lack uh, of, because of criticism of, have you, has anyone ever seen a Sasquatch build a structure? Well, that's a legit goddamn question, Mr. Duffy. That's a very legit damn question. I mean, first you have to prove the damn Sasquatch is real. <laughs> I know this is a lot. I know this is a lot, Mr. Duffy. First, you have to prove Sasquatch is real. Which I get it. For some people, they've seen it. They It's real as fuck. But, um, but uh, you can't prove structures are built for it by something that you haven't proven is real. So you got to prove the science that Sasquatch is real. And then you can work on proving if Sasquatches are building uh, structures. Team Boy says squirrels do weird stuff on bungee cords. Yeah. Yeah. Some of those mm -hmm. fucking obstacle courses people set up for them. It's pretty cool stuff. And Angel says, or is it a city squirrel used to people feeding it? It could be that. It could be that. Joe says, wait, did I hear you say something? Say someone said Bigfoot turned into a squirrel? Yeah. This whole damn video is, he's like considering the question. Can Sasquatch turn into other animals? I mean, he isn't going full bore into it, but he wonders. He wonders. So, so uh, we got we got another. I guess you can call this a structure. I guess you can call this a structure. Wait till you see this shit. Um. Yeah, there we go. Look, Look at this, this creation. creation. If this doesn't impress you, I don't know what to do for you. But there's amazing evidence at this beach, as always. Saw this walking on the way back. Missed it on the way by because we were deep in conversation. But this is super impressive. I don't doubt that this was probably created by the Sasquatch people with the incorporation of the shells. I mean, even the heart shape, for them to know the heart shape is amazing. Do they know the meaning behind the heart shape? Think about it. Think about it. Everybody wants to prescribe aspects of beastly aggression to these creatures, but what about the humanity? That's enough. That is a goddamn enough. City Squirrel. Raptor says, uh, hello everyone in chat. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. 
We are Raptor. We're uh, th this 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 Yahoo of the video you're seeing. This guy was criticizing the shit and cussing him up one side and down the other. Bigfoot and on. Bigfoot and on is full of shit. He is really full of shit. I have never talked to him or about him like this guy, Mr. Duffy, talked about him on that video yesterday. Um, however, this guy was criticizing Bigfoot Anon. How the hell he can criticize Bigfoot Anon and then he's showing something like this as if it was made by a Sasquatch on his video... I, I I find it so hard to believe that someone would buy this to think this is that, that I think this guy's just a troll. He's straight up trolling the Bigfoot community. This can't be real. No one is this goddamn fucking stupid. Wait till you see the next one. Wait till you see the next one. Hold on. Um <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This guy has Joe invoking the name of Jesus. Now that. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. Donald says, uh, that's about a, as laughable as when I heard a so-called researcher say they were they were plant material. Uh, that, that, that Sasquatch is, is uh, basically the swamp thing. <laughs> yeah. Joe says, so someone was on the beach and made a heart shape. Yeah, but this guy's saying that uh, he thinks this is Bigfoot doing this. And that Bigfoot knows what that shape means. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's a goober, says Joe. Scotty J says, do people actually believe this guy? I, I think some people do. I It's crazy. Where be the footprints in the sand? Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't put, I, didn't, I don't got any of his videos with the footprints pulled up. But from what I can see, all of his footprints are normal human size and shape. Normal human size and shape. And so he goes in there after, like, because I, so I think there's people, I think these are just human footprints. And he goes in after the water, the, the mud, there's not so much water in the mud. So, because you know how it's easier to sink in when it's highly saturated. But later on, when the, when the, the water, there's less water in that, that ground, you won't sink in as much. So he thinks he's clever, but I, I, I don't know for a fact this is what he's doing. But because those bare footprints that are no bigger than his feet are sunk in deeper than when he steps on it and he's in his shoes, I think he knows damn good and well um, how to fake that shit. He goes down there when it's super wet. I, it's possible he's doing this. I don't know. But I'm not buying it. After seeing all the other bullshit on his channel, I think he's possibly faking these footprints. He goes down there barefoot when it's really highly saturated, so he'll sink in really good. And then comes back later and walks next to it when you can't sink in as well. And then films it and then claims, oh, those are little Sasquatches. Well, where's the big ones, motherfucker? I mean, I, I wasn't going to watch every video on this channel to see if he had any big ones. But all I saw was normal human size and shape. Normal human size and shape. Um, Mr. Lee says, I knew you was going to get this locked beard. <laughs> yeah. Where were the footprints in the sand? Yeah. Yeah, it looks brushed out. Yeah. Just where I agree. Where's the footprints? For to toad squatch, the four toad four toad sasquatch. In the middle. You can see a print in the middle, huh? Um well I'm straining the I I see what you're trying to say. That's not a fucking footprint, though, man. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Then he says, hey, I like Connor no matter what everybody anybody says. We don't always agree. <laughs> Flat Earth crap. But we have great debates. And he is a cartoon character, Paranormal Highway. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, after the, like, if you go watch that whole video where he's just tearing in the Connor, like, like nobody's business, um, you know. It makes me feel like I should be a little nicer to Connor because <laughs> this Mister Duffy guy was just way the fuck out of line, way the fuck out of line, and just it's just crazy. He made that himself. I I think he may he probably did. You know what I mean? Gary just quit. <laughs> it's just Joe. 
<laughs> uh, Angel says, Danny Sinton, there are some shows I watch for entertainment, nothing more. Yeah. Scotty J, Mr. Lee. You know, sometimes we need the clown to make a smile. <laughs> or some other human did. Maybe for his or her significant other. Yeah, I mean, it, it, kids could have made that. I mean, who knows? You say footprints wash out so that the wood don't float? Yeah, yeah, really. Somebody said brushed out. Somebody said the footprints were brushed out. <sighs> I don't know. Either somebody else made this and he's just taking advantage of it to to claim it's a Sasquatch structure or he made it. I, I really doubt Sasquatch made this. <laughs> and judging by looking at the rest of his channel, this is probably total bullshit. It really is. Um, just saying. That stuff's Bigfoot looking wife footprint. Yeah. I got one more, one more where uh, I'm going to have to go to term, term part on this one too. Whoops. Whoops. Stop playing it before it got stuck on the screen. Make sure we got it on screen. <clears throat> so the hole, a hole on the beach. Let's let's play this thing. This this hole. Here's one, one stick with rope end on it. Sitting here. Sitting here. Here's the here's dig out. Dig out. And a uh, pretty deep hole, you know. Could be a hazard to leave something like that on the beach too, like you know, for somebody not pay attention, falling and hurt themselves. So I don't know if parents would let their kids leave that. Here's the peeled stick that I was talking about, and then look, here's even a piece of plausible denial. Yeah, look, we dug that hole to China with a teaspoon. Yeah, right. You didn't dig that with that thing. There's your shovel. Yeah, right. They might have made a circle with that stick. Who knows if they were digging for clams down there, mussels, and eating. If this was just symbolic. <clears throat> um, makes you wonder if it's even them. Like I said, but very big possibility see how close we are to the water line so um but like i said what makes me really think it is not the fact that there's a hole there but the fact that this is sitting there with this little thing here so funny how they operate isn't it but with that stick who knows if they were digging your shovel yeah right yeah right you didn't dig that with that thing. There's your shovel. Yeah, right. They might have made a circle with that stick. Peeled stick that I was talking about. And then look, here's even a piece of plausible denial. Yeah, look. Plausible denial. All right. No, this is, uh, if, if, if this is what you're thinking... Plausible denial is when you don't leave evidence. This is like different. This is leaving false evidence. This is a red herring. This is not plausible deniability here. This is not what this is. Uh, Mr. Duffy, you goddamn moron. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, I mean, you hear what this guy's saying? He's saying that Bigfoot actually left a shovel handle down here to throw us off the scent that, that they dug the hole with a stick. That hole that was obviously dug with a shovel, the way those sides are on that hole, obviously dug with a shovel, right? Does anybody, does anybody think that was... Uh, Dug with a stick or a shovel. I mean, I guess it's possible. But, uh, come on. Um, Bigfoot's wife looking for wife's footprint. Meredith says, it called guests who sing comment. Help us. Uh, yeah, someone's old journey reference. 
Angel says, Gary, there is no scale to tell how big the footprint is if it that was what was in the middle. Um, if it, even if it was a Bigfoot, it wasn't defined enough to be usable for in any way, I don't think. But I, it, Gary, it was. Come on, man. Come on, Gary. Meredith says, Danny, I'm 52 years old. My body says no, but my head says go. What is that? Well, that is obviously a Bigfoot hole, says Joe. Well, you talking about the, the green thing? It was a shovel. It was a little shovel handle. Um, like this, Mr. Lee? A little shovel like this? Hopefully you can see that well enough. A little shovel... And it was a handle from a shovel. And the, I guess the shovel blade was missing. Um, anyway, he's trying to sell us the Sasquatch left that handle to throw us off the scent of how he really dug the hole or some bullshit. I mean, this is how this is it's it's just so damn ridiculous some of the shit on this channel. This guy has got to be just trolling. He's got to be. He's got to be. Hold it again. No scale. Waterways can peel sticks. Yeah, well, or it just was kids. <laughs> I think it was just people. It's just kids down there digging a the damn hole. I, I think he's just, you know. Danny says, I leave 100, hundreds of them holes at, on the beach when I go metal detecting. The tide comes in, goes back, leaving those stupid holes. Oh, my God. Um. Yeah, they should fill right in when the tide comes in. Rep says, I'm wondering if he's digging that hole, if he wouldn't find some chocolate bars in there. <laughs> uh, some kitty cat bars. Mr. Lee says, Lockbird, you just salty because he dissed you in chat. I, I, no, he, look, I wasn't going to look this deep into his channel, but then he started talking shit and and actually talking shit on the, the logical side of Bigfoot, the tall ones and Pat. And uh, and so then I'm like, well, okay. At first I was thinking this guy, well, he's criticizing Connor. He's a, he's a little over the top, but he's criticizing Connor. Um, and there were some other things I heard him say that I, I, that I agreed with. But then, but then when he started criticizing Squash Talk and the tall ones, I'm like, okay, I got to take a closer look at this guy. He should have just not, he should have kept his rude, crazy shit to himself. Otherwise, I wouldn't have looked closer at his channel and found out that this guy is completely off his nut. <laughs> Farmax says, I take a shovel to, to the beach and make sand castles. The wet sand stays cool and fills with water for the kids. Great sand castle material. Elephant print, place, case closed. Uh, they're looking for turtle turds. Mr. Lisa's problem at can you build me a house? <laughs> Donald Stanton says starting bids on signed Lockbeard shovel now open reserves twenty dollars. Why would I sign a shovel, Danny? <laughs> Wouldn't they rather have a signed autograph or t shirt or something or <laughs> <laughs> That's a working shovel there. That shovel's for doing work. Why would I sign a shovel? That's crazy. You, you know what? This is this is kind of weird. Hold on, stop screen. Well, I'll get into it in a second here. Uh, Raptor Satimbo on chessboard. Sean says, I know that the tall ones follow fellow. He can be a pain. <laughs> yeah, he's too gandam logical. He might, he might. He might just suggest that if no one has seen a Sasquatch build a structure, then you can't really 100% claim that Sasquatch builds any structures at all. He might say something like that, and that's just fucking nuts. <laughs> uh, Power Medic says, uh, one that would last two days, Mr. Lee. Have you watched those two Asian guys build houses in the clay? Um, Joe says, sweet, bald headed baby Jesus guy calls out Connor. That's like Asian elephants saying African elephants look funny. 
Uh, chess board says problematic. Yeah, in a competition with Musk, uh, 10 grand homes. Uh, Meredith says, uh, Pyro, I've watched those two guys and they built a pool in front of the house. There's plenty, they're plenty impressive. <clears throat> Anyways, is Bigfoot annoying the real deal? Bigfoot annoying? You talking about Bigfoot and non? He calls them Bigfoot annoying. I know. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. He's just, he's, he's just too much bullshit. I mean, you know, for starters, if you're a flat earther, you pretty much shot all your credibility in all things. You probably should be sterilized and not allowed to have any goddamn children. You shouldn't be allowed to be anywhere near anyone else's children either because you might infect them with some ridiculous ideology that the earth is goddamn flat. Uh, throwing humans thousands of years into the past. I mean... Just saying. <laughs> uh, Donald says, "When will we see the Lock Beer Phenomena T-shirt available?" I don't know. I don't know, Donald Fuller. Do, do I? Do I? Am I worthy of a T-shirt myself? Really? I mean, I mean, why would anyone want to wear my shirt? Raptor says that Lockbeard was Pat on last night. Is this where you got saw this guy? No, Pat was not on last night. He was supposed to, but, um, and he was, and it said he was coming on, but then all of a sudden his show just, uh, he disappeared right before he was supposed to go live. But, um, this, this Mr. Duffy 81 guy was talking shit on Pat. So that's, you know, in the comments, when I, when I was, when I commented to his video and I was actually saying something nice, you know, or something, you know, support it in support of what he said, he, uh, he started coming at me and he was talking shit on squash talk and the tall ones. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Are you just trying to, I don't know. Joe says, I did not know Connor was a flirt for holy crap. That explains it out. Yeah. He's straight up flat earther, man. <laughs> yeah. holy shit uh mr lee says gary work it out yourself dude that's what i do now it's goofy it's a flat earther right lockbeard welcome or uh mr hugh welcome he says hawkbeard hi hi danny you still here yeah, you're still here. Hey, um, so has there been enough time to let Jessica Jones remote view the object? Since Danny brought up something, uh, like signing something, and you remember I put the the the, the ident identification number Lockbeard one on an object. And, and remote viewers are supposed to be able to look into the past to see objects, right? In fact, this one, Jessica Jones, said that she remote viewed into the past and talked to a Sasquatch that got murdered years ago. Like she was in telepathic communication with a Sasquatch that got murdered years ago. So she should be able to see the object that I labeled Lockbeard 1. So, do you guys think it's been enough time? Should I reveal the object that I signed with Lockbeard 1? Mr. Lee says, Dan, you can speak English proper. Donald Fuller says, I think pass didn't pass Squatch Bates, Squatch Bates Alco sensor test. What? <laughs> Does he have to take a breathalyzer to go live? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <clears throat> Raptor has thumbs up. Should I reveal the object? Danny, should I reveal the object? Mr. Lee, Donald. I labeled an object weeks ago for Jessica Jones to remote view. All she has she had to do was tell me you know what the object is and give me some descriptives of the object. 
and it's, I never heard anything about it. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do you want me to show you guys the object now? Donald said, I listened to some of her fooey last night. So hilarious on Texas show. Danny says, hey, I'm a co-host on a channel called My Flock is Everywhere Tomorrow. Special guest co-host. The guest is Bigfoot Michigan Rob. I'm going to bring up this. So wait. So wait. What the? Okay. Okay. Donald says, um, or Uncle Bone says, Donald Fuller. Donald says, I want to see your try. I don't know, Danny. You might piss them off if you brought up because they hate, they do not like me over there. They have blocked me from that channel. I don't want you, you know, you don't have to get in the middle of this if you, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Um, if she's really psychic, she should know that the challenge has been laid out. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Playing hardball tomorrow, says Danny. How are you now? Holy shit. Mr. Lee says, at least we have laughs tonight. It's all good. Joe says, uh, wait, wait, wait. Someone physically spoke to a dead Bigfoot. Am I getting this right? Oh, boy. Sweet Mary Mother. Yes, Joe. Jessica Jones, the remote viewer whose show is on Texas Front Porch channel. And she also has her own channel where they simultaneously... Uh, live stream her remote viewing show. Um, that that channel is called uh, The Cryptid Huntress. Anyway, a while back, they remote viewed that incident where those guys, they run across a, a female Sasquatch and her child, and they shot both of them. And uh, I can't remember all the details of the story. Anyway... She uh, she said she was able to, like, she was actually in communication with the, the Sasquatch that was killed in the past. She was telepathically communicating to the past to a Sasquatch that is now dead. Um, now, the funny thing is, whenever she's been, you know, she says, I don't do personal readings and stuff like that. Basically... You ask her about some hocus pocus bullshit, and she can basically just tell you roughly what you expect to hear, and you can't prove her right or wrong. That's her protection. That's how she gets away with her bullshit. I'm a psychic remote viewer nonsense. I call it nonsense because she she won't, you know, she again, everything she does, everything she remote views is something that we can't check. We 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 can't. She won't remote view anything that we can we can fact check her on. We can't. We can't fact check. We can't go back in time and find out if the government actually forced this guy to tell them where he buried the bodies of these two Bigfoot that he shot and felt guilty about. And we can't go back in time and I mean we can't do we can't fit, there's no way. We there's no way for us to check her her claims. And she's sitting here and just said, this is what happened. Blah, blah, blah. I remote viewed. This is shit. And if you pay my Patreon, you can go see my actual data, like all the data on this, because we're not talking about all the data here. But, but you know, we have limited time. But if you pay my Patreon, you can go see my, uh, what what she calls it, her her data or her, her uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm calling bullshit. That's why I said I was going to designate an object. I was going to sign my name on it, which was, that was why it was funny. Danny mentioned signing shit. <laughs> I technically did sign something. And, um, uh, yeah. I might, I might uh, designate something else because I'm not, even if she was able to, like, because. These people, man, they, they're tricky with their psycho shit. They're tricky. Well, Mr. Lee, I think we should wait. We should wait until tomorrow. If Danny really is going to, like, ask her, like, hey, you know, were you able to remote view the object designated as Lockbeard 1? 
because because I you know I didn't want to I wanted to make sure that there was no um, no confusion right because you're supposed to like give a coordinate or something like that so I actually wrote Lockbeard one on something and that way like if her remote viewing powers are real they should be able to to zone in on that fucking object um you know but i she won't do it though i guarantee she won't do it she'll be be, oh it takes a lot out of me i don't do personal readings it's so draining but shut the fuck up (laughs) a rep says we'll never know if pat takes the breathalyzer before the show That'd be funny. That'd be funny if he does that. He should do it like at the like on 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 uh, on camera. <laughs> hey, there's Squatching Cowboy. Says how y'all? What's up, Squatching Cowboy? Welcome to the show. Oh, you freaking warned them. Oh shit. I I don't know, Dan. That they I don't. I really don't think they like me. They don't like people challenging their their narrative over there, and I ch- might have challenged it a little too much. Uncle Bone says to to Joe, are you becoming a monk? What? Uh, Explaint. Is explaint a word? Um, Squashing Cowboy says, Mr. Lee equals Napoleon Dynamite. Joe says, I think I might if I hear too much more of this bullshit, Uncle Bones. Might what what uh become a monk. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of bullshit out here, man. And it, 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 again, you people are like, oh, I want you to just leave it alone. Why you gotta start? Look, it muddies the water. Every person that we get to start thinking, say, look, yeah. I'm, there's this thing called like logic and objective reasoning and and i need to stop just buying into every story we should not just believe every story we should sort them out to some extent you know like i do people are like how could you do that blah blah, blah. my story is just as legit as this story no your story is, is like if your story is uh, a Matt Johnson story with alien Bigfoot coming through portals that you operate and thinking all oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. That story goes over here and probably bullshit, <laughs> almost certainly bullshit pile. But if your story is just a big hairy dude hunting in the woods, well, you know, that sounds like something reasonable and believable. So it's going to go in the pile of stories that the, but the reality is, is none of these stories prove shit, you know, physical evidence proves shit. You know, uh, repeatable, uh, 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 reliably repeatable uh, methods of observation that scientists, you know, can teach other scientists and they can all go out and see like, yeah, you know, it wasn't just Jane Goodall that saw this shit. Some other scientists went out there and saw this shit, too. You know, and that's, you know. If you can't repeat the experiment, you, you ain't proven shit, you know, so. So yeah, a lot of bullshit, a lot of bullshit out here. Um, trying to get robes as we speak. <laughs> yeah, don't order any robes yet. We might succeed in tearing down, you know, all this this stuff. You know, because, because you know we're not we're not just going to you know. I mean this this Mister Duffy guy is just a complete nutter, but um, other people are just mistaken. They didn't. They're not trying to do something harmful they just think they saw something that they didn't really see and we're not trying to attack them we just need to try and help them see and understand it's like look you know you might have gotten spooked by something but it 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 wasn't what you thought it was and you need to you, you put your mind at ease you put your mind at ease and and be and then you know learn from the experience and be able to see in the future okay yeah this is this is how i i was mistaken before and how i cannot be mistaken in the future and and uh as part of the collective whole of humanity help us all to march towards 
better understanding of everything in our world, <clears throat> which will increase our survivability. You know, people don't really make the connection. Like everything we learn increases our survivability just a little bit. You know, um, it, it's something, you know, you know, past year may have never realized that he was going to save, you know, millions of lives, you know. So what if he decided, you know what, uh, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to go uh, bring in the cows or whatever else he did. Sasquatch. Danny says, uh, Lee, post the link of My Flock is Everywhere, 5 p.m. tomorrow Eastern. Bigfoot, Michigan Mob, Rob and me. Me and my Tourette's. Tourette's I've, I'm going to try to get him to call Jessica a lot. Oh, you're going to try because she's not going to be on the show. Well, you know, be gentle, be gentle. Don't piss them off. <laughs> However, I suspect that Bigfoot Michigan Rob is a little skeptical of some of that stuff himself, but, uh, Uh, did, Donald says, did you just know, um, they told me not to, or Danny said not to, because he's going to ask Bigfoot Michigan Rob, um, I guess to call Jessica and ask her if she's seen the, the object or I don't know, whatever. Meredith says, Mr. Lee, I will cast the demonic bastard out of your life forever and cleanse your soul of the traumatic events that took place and your lady. If she is in need of help, I'm woman, hear me roar. <laughs> then he keep that. You should keep that quiet. He should. He could be watching. Uh, Gary says, I've seen orbs. Why did it lead you to the squatches? Well, a lot of people think they're connected. Meredith says, seriously, Mr. Lee, I could help if truly you need help. Danny says, uh, hey, Lockbird, make a two-minute video of your challenge, and I'll play it live on the show. I swear I'm an asshole. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, you could just play a clip from, from this, couldn't you? Uh, my challenge to Jessica Jones is is to remote view an object that I have designated uh, Lockbeard One. Um, I've actually physically written Lockbeard One on the object, and uh, tell me what the object is and describe some things about it, and uh, maybe you know because right now it looks like. Um, it looks like uh, Jessica will not remote view something that can be fact checked. Well, this can be at least fact checked by me. People might still say, "Ah, oh, Lockbeard's in in collusion with Jessica Jones," <laughs> or something. I don't know. But um, but yeah, that's my challenge: remote view Lockbeard one. If she's able to accurately remote view that that designation. Then, um, then I'll say it's, I'll say it on here. I'll say, hey, she accurately I remote viewed the object and described it correctly. So, um, yeah. Mr. Lee says, Meredith, my lady is so sweet and kind. She slaps me occasionally with a smile on her face. I kind of like it after 26 years. Danny says, I don't care. I watched my live on the daily blog, 13 o'clock. Like we're talking about tomorrow for sure. Swatch Cowboy says, it all depends where she slaps you, Mr. Lee. I need a good spanking. What the hell? Danny says, I'm live right. I'm live tonight and I'll be well off by showtime. Joe says, look, if you tell me you encountered a Bigfoot, I can believe you. But if you tell me you psychically speak to dead book Bigfoots. Well, that's a whole new bag of kittens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, cowboy on the head. Usually, maybe that's why. 
need to talk to her, Mr. Lee. Uncle Bones says, just we're look closer after locked beards. We'll look closer after locked beards. Closer at, um, at what? A comment on the dance, dance partners. <clears throat> Miss Lee says she's shy, shy, but she will. She likes you. Time is a show, Danny. I'm pick y'all. 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow on My Flock is Everywhere channel. Um, uh, I I've actually been uh, had a brief a brief encounter with my flock is everywhere on a chat on another show. I can't remember the name, which show it was and talked briefly about um, possibly adding that show or show on that channel to the, to the TV guide. But, but I think there was something that wasn't like, it wasn't a regularly scheduled thing or something like that. So it didn't qualify, right? It didn't qualify. It needs to be have a regular schedule. Otherwise, it's point. It's pointless to put it on there. I mean, yeah, people could like find the channel with the link, but if I start putting everybody on there, that thing's going to be hundreds of hundreds and hundreds. I mean, you don't have no idea. There's so many Bigfoot channels out there. It's crazy. I don't think a lot of people are, are aware. So, and I got a hundred entries on there. Just keeping it specifically regularly scheduled live streams. Back to your corners. Live tonight, Danny Dan, 13 o'clock live after Saturday night live. Chessboard says, Squash and Cowboy, hope you're doing well. Donald says, I'm still waiting to see my doppelganger, Mr. Lee. Squash Cowboy says, I'm okay, Chess. Just sitting around, getting fat, waiting to get back in the woods. Meredith says, uh, Donald. Uh, laughing to Donald. He's fast asleep. Thanks, says, so you're going to make me search through a four-hour stream for a clip. Oh, my God. Make the challenge video. It takes two minutes. All right. All right. I guess so. I guess so, Don Danny. Drake, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Joe says, this is fun. I'm getting to come up with the new ways to say stuff. Raptor says, I think Lockbeard put Lockbeard one on a pasty note on top of his laptop. <laughs> you never know. I could have put it on anything. Could have put it on anything. You just never know. Just where it says, Clutch Cowboy. It was good to hear. Fiddle around. Scratch Cowboy says, I'm learning uh, the fiddle chess. Mr. Lee, or start a band. Timmy says, everything in the van has Lockbeard 1 on it. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, but no, there's only one thing that has Lockbeard 1 on it. It's the object I chose uh, weeks ago when I initially made the challenge. Um. Jesper says, this question, Cowboy, good luck with that one. Joe says, I think some of these people missed the cracker with the cheese whiz. <laughs> yeah, very possibly. Uh, Cowboy says, cool, I play a lot of instruments. I mean, I could designate a new object, too. I don't know. Call it Lockbeard 2. I don't know. Cowboy says he's really good at the cowbell. Yeah, you definitely need uh, plenty of cowbell. Just says he plays the radio. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Joe, we, we well, we always need more cowbell. Always need more cowbell. Well, it's cooled down a little bit, so hopefully the computer is not going to be too. Yeah, hopefully it'll cooperate. 
I don't hear the fan running hard anymore. Um, but Joe, this is a clip from, uh, this is Jessica Jones in this clip. I was kind of poking fun at her because it, it, if you don't know, you'd have to watch the show to know what she's talking about here. Otherwise, it sounds kind of iffy what she's saying here. It's look like a tasty teenage boy. It's look like a tasty teenage boy. It's look like a tasty teenage boy. <laughs> Coach Cowboy says it's an electric cowboy with two fender amps. Whoa, that's a serious cowbell. It's clutching cowboy. Serious cowbell. Chessboard says uh, cowboy play expensive stuff. <laughs> Tasty teenage boy. Yeah. Y'all probably taking that way out of context. <laughs> If you had seen the show where that came from, then you'd be like, okay. That's not where my mind went. <laughs> yeah, buddy, is staying with you. Mr. Lee says, Lockbeard, you have a good show. You know that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lee. Danny, Daily Dan says, fucked up. Tasty teenage boys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she said, Joe. Uh, a tasty teenage boy. <clears throat> I mean, okay, so you're. I guess it was about it was about uh, what was the deal? What was that show from? Anyway, she was talking about like a cryptid or something eating a person and something about, I, I don't even remember exactly what it was, but she was talking about cryptids eating people. She was talking about, you know, her, uh, choice of, of, uh, of date. <laughs> uh, Dave Dan says, sounds like something Mr. Lee would be into. <laughs> Cowboy says, that's the name of our band. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's going to get way the hell out of control. Where's uh, where's Papa Craig tonight? He probably don't ever want to come on here again. But I still got his intro. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Joe says, I used to be a tasty teenage boy. Now I just cause indigestion. <laughs> Jake says, I'll do that only, f but only females. <laughs> just versus no comment. <clears throat> Mr. Lee says, Donald, yeah, for the next two days, he's skinny, big on drinking. I can't go near him at the moment. He messed up a bit, just saying. Raptor says, wow, I'm really behind like three minutes. Yeah. Well, set it to um, 1.5 speed or two times speed. Like some people you can watch on 2x speed and... But some people you can't like, like uh, if if you're over at Beast TV and you're dealing with Mark Abel, right? He talks so slow. I wish there was a 4x speed. 2x speed is not enough. It just isn't. He talks too goddamn slow. But if you watch Bigfoot and on who we were talking about earlier, you can't watch him. You can't accelerate. Like sometimes you're okay, but but for the most part, you can't watch him on two x speed. It violates the laws of physics. So you you almost got to slow him down sometimes. Jake says, "Me too, Raptor." 
You still attracted to her, Timmy boy, after she licked Papa Smurf's ass? Because <laughs> that was kind of gross. It's a little bit gross. Oh, let me out, let me out, come on. And of course, the uh, actual, actual, an actual image of Mr. Lee with his best bud, Tom. Mr. Lee does, in fact, eat ammunition. That's his favorite snack. That that was an accurate depiction of him in that picture there. Chessboard says, Team Boy had someone tell me you'd be blue, too, with all those Smurfs. <laughs> well, you know... Smurfess, well, at least in at first she was the only female in the village, right? So there was was there a hundred Smurfs were supposed to be. Um, you just wonder, you know, what, what exactly was going on in the little Shroomville? Mister Lee says, "Lockbeard, you're funny as hell on two two point five speed." I don't even know if you can put it on two point five. Can you do it on custom? Maybe you can do it on custom. It's you and Tom. That is you and Tom, Mr. Lee. Tim Boy says, I'm into it. Lock me into, into ass looking Smurfs. <laughs> now, this is this, like. Here's a Joe's little who band. That that that's a accurate uh, reenactment of uh, Joe taking out uh, hoaxers and bullshit artists. It uh, will be uh, reenacted. For many thousands of years in the Mongolian empires to come. Raptor says, Well, if Smurfette is anything like Bernadette off the Big Bang Theory, when she was Smurfette, I would let her lick me all night. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Joe says, For some odd reason, all I want now is a tasty cake. <laughs> Timmy Boy says, Just for just a wood. Yeah, I saw. I I never heard of him before, but I saw him on your channel. You were talking about it on the channel. That's some they, them motherfuckers rock, man. They be rocking. I haven't got hit with a freaking copy. Cut. I mean, it's short enough, I guess, that it, it doesn't trip a copyright claim. I don't know where that boundary is, though. You got what? <laughs> Donald says, I had to slow Connor down to keep up. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Put it on a 0.5 speed or some shit. But yeah, for, for Mark Abel, though, you need 4x speed. You really do. Because, I mean, uh, it's physically painful to, to <laughs> talk so slow. Mr. Lee says, at least we not talking about Moog Rimmer. That was very upsetting. Well, dang it, Mr. Lee just brought it up. I plan on addressing that whole scenario in the future, just not tonight. Just for the Western that code to fiddle with the middle. That's code to fiddle with the middle, huh? I'm surrounded by assholes. Yeah. And where's Brandy tonight? Here's her clip. 
Donald says, Mr. Lee, I'm going to the rim to study the Mog the Mogion tree bumper. <clears throat> yeah, um, I don't know. I am. I'm not sure how much I should say. I don't know. Anyway, I, I want to kind of address the whole thing, the situation that happened, and at some point soon. And uh, anyway, it, I don't know. I don't want to say too much just yet. But um, I don't know if you. I don't know if I should like put together some uh, uh, maybe a question or two or whatever for like you to comment on if you want to comment on it and be a part of the video that talks about that. But uh, I don't want to say too much right now. Brett Craig says, Mr. Lee, what are you talking about or should I not ask? You should not ask. <laughs> you should not ask. Um, probably not. Donald says, Humper, damn, at, at, that'll correct. Probably, probably not deal with it. <laughs> well, you know. If I can, sometimes I can't because it, it, everything gets like the computer can't always handle it. It seems to be doing all right right now, but, but, uh, but yeah, I got clips for different stuff. Like if I'm talking about how, um, uh, you know, um, uh, freaking, uh, what's his nuts over there? Uh, Pop Tart Man. What what's I'm losing names right now. Anyway, hi, he uh, he made that video about me and Donald and he managed to not make one death threat. And I was saying that, you know, he's he's learning. He's learning from me. And I'm his father. He comes to me for advices. And how Carrie um is now a full carnivore and says he feels better than he ever has in his life why is he a full carnivore i choose to believe it's because he he's been spying on my show he heard me talk about it and then when he checked into it well no he didn't even check into it i bet he didn't even check into it he knows that i do nothing but tell the truth on here everything's fact over here and i would not say carnivore is proper diet if carnivore was not proper diet and he tried it and He's feeling so much better. So this clip is also for Carrie. I'm his father. He comes to me for advices. <laughs> but yeah, this is a... Uh... Yeah, that, that might be yours. There might be something else for you. I don't know. If I'm making fun of Jessica... It's like a tasty teenage boy. You know, if someone, if someone's acting too old, fuck your old. If I just want to offend everyone that loves cats. I like to fuck my cat. <laughs> or someone like Mr. Duffy, who uh, used uh, uh, um, plausible deniability when it wasn't that wasn't plausible deniability situation he was describing. It was like a red herring. So, um, so this is for him. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Or everything that Gary says. You don't make any sense at all. Sorry, Gary. Sorry. Sorry, Gary. Much as I haven't seen Brandy in a while, I don't know what's up with her. <clears throat> well, she wasn't happy with the whole situation about the rumor thing. 
Ch Chess Bror says, Lockbeard and Mel Brooks movies are on the hit list. Classics are their best. Which are you making me worried about? But that's fine. Tell me. Um, it's just a, it's a long story. And um, I don't know. Hopefully I make an accurate uh, accurate enough account when I when I get to, when I get that done. But Meredith says Donald, he takes way too much Kratom. Connor, I'm referring to. He said it on Bigfoot Aussie. He didn't stop rambling on faster and faster. I had to mute it for goodness sakes. Yeah, Kratom uh, definitely makes you fucking high. Um, and because I tried it before for I needed, you know, I was just so tired and shit all the time. And I was trying to fight that. And caffeine doesn't really do shit. The only reason I have caffeine is to not get the damn headache from not having caffeine. And it really doesn't give me any energy, really. But I, it's like I, I'm, I am addicted to caffeine. Um, so I tried Kratom at some point, and it worked. God damn, it worked. But it makes you, I, the, I mean, I don't really, you know, I've never used any illegal drugs. So if I had to describe what it felt like, it felt like what I think high would be. And um, I don't trust... I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I really don't think anyone should operate heavy machinery while using this stuff. You just shouldn't. And, um, but I can't use that stuff any, anyway because it gives me an upset stomach. And I can't, I just, this is crazy. Mr. Lee says, Retro Crazy, I'll let Lockbury tell you, man. It, it's, Going to try and address it. I think I need to, <clears throat> when I'm ready, try to communicate with, with a, you know, maybe with Donald for sure, I think, and see if he wants to make it like a video commentary, a short thing about some of this stuff and what his thoughts on, on certain things are. Maybe I, I don't know if he wants to be included in, in this. Um, But uh, I feel like I need to address some stuff. And so um, I plan on it. Pop, who the heck's Pop-Tart Man? Um, goddamn um, me and Donald's friend. Well, he's not a friend. He's uh, Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets is the word I was looking for. He calls people Hot Pockets. And he likes to call everyone a pedo. Who he don't like. Raptor says, Mr. Lee, that's cool. I haven't seen Moogs in like a week. So I didn't know what was up with what you're talking about. <laughs> Joe says the cat one is just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so I said offend about everybody. Uh, sure, I can do that. Says Donald Raptor. Mr. Lee says, Raptor, you missed everything, man. Uh, give it no worries. Yeah. Gary says it's all right, Mr. L Mr. Lockbeard. Kind of like this. Some people got it, some people don't. <laughs> that mom's here says Carrie doesn't watch you. Hello, the carnivore diet had been out for a long time. Nope, nope. I look, we're in a community where people choose to believe all kinds of crazy shit. So this is the crazy shit I'm going to believe. I believe Carrie got that uh, whole idea for me because he spies on my channel and he knows that he has to worry about me because I only cover the truth. And um, so, so that's how he became a carnivore. I'm choosing to believe that. End of story. I'm his father. He comes to me for advices. <laughs> and welcome to the chat. <laughs> Gary's too busy kissing Zasky's ass. He's slurping on it. No, not Volta bullshit, but it might as well be. He's part of that whole crew anyway. They're all buddy buddy. Um, who am I, Donald? I've uh, 
Oh no, yeah, no, that's right. No, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting my names all confused. Vault of nonsense. Vault of nightmares is who we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. You're you're absolutely right. Vault of nightmares. I was some reason for some reason I was thinking dark waters, but yeah, Vault of nightmares is the guy. Um, just. Made one too many, one too many death threats against people, and so yeah. Have we run out of steam, or is my chat stopped up? So y'all tell me if there was something psychic here or something. Um, just, uh, just mundane and regular. So I was sitting in a restaurant and there's two lines of booths and it's like, there's a, there's a wall and there's booths. There's like a short wall, like, you know, about waist high. And then, uh, there's a, there's a line, there's booths on this side of the wall and there's booths on that side of the wall. And I was sitting at this booth, and I've been there for a while. I ate my ate my meal, and I had my computer, so I was on my computer, and uh, just kind of chilling. It was hot outside, and uh, anyway, I had this thought enter my head of of the past. Kind of a flash of someone I knew a long time ago, an ex. And uh, so then I, I was like, I didn't want, I didn't, for whatever reason, I didn't want to sit there anymore. Didn't want to sit there anymore. I, I want to go. You know, all of a sudden I just wanted to go. I stand up, I get my, gather my stuff up, get everything packed in my computer. Uh, whatever the fuck you call this thing. And, um, you know, my wallet, my phone, everything in there. And I get up and start to walk towards the door. And I look back towards my booth. And I saw on the other side of the wall in the booth sitting. So, the, you know, the wall is not that very thick. So, And I was sitting right up against it. And just on the other side of that wall, within two feet of me, was an, my ex-girlfriend from 25 years ago. probably just like heard her voice and some somewhere in my head I recognized it and um, or was it psychic <laughs> <clears throat> of course you know she looked at me and I just nodded and headed and headed out the fucking door <laughs> Mr. Lee says, you are better cheered up anyways. Lockbeard, good show. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Just as in case some haven't seen it, I'm going back to doing the cast. Got a new one coming up on Monday. Doing the cast. Going back, I don't know what, I don't know what that means. Team Boy says, I love the way Nikki was so defensive, but done a show titled Why So Sensitive. Don't get me wrong, I like Nikki, but couldn't help to make the contradictions when it comes to friends. Well, it, it, it's, it's a complicated situation. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to say too much about my assessment of everything just yet. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, Timmy. Uh, Meredith says, adding to my last comment, this was right after he became a fixture for every damn channel. He just popped up out of the blue, didn't he? Hmm, makes me wonder. Awareness is the key. Yeah, I mean, you know, he just came out of nowhere, and I'm just thinking, I don't know, did he just jump into, uh, he just wanted to jump into Bigfoot? Because if you look at this channel, 
you know, it's like music and stuff. And then, uh, you know, cause he like, like my channel, I don't have any videos really that are older than my Bigfoot stuff. I just wasn't on YouTube. He was, and it was like music and stuff. And then a little bit later, there got to be some like haunted spots. And then, you know, eventually, I think about two years ago, he started doing Bigfoot stuff. So I don't know if he decided to try to run with it and try to, you know, make money at it. I don't know if he does make money at it or, you know, because he's got, he's selling some books and stuff. And uh, I don't know. But if you're suggesting that there he's being utilized the way Mr. Duffy says um, to uh, encourage misinformation, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I need I would need to see evidence of that. Um, he could just be just someone who just decided to just jump in. Donald says, yeah, Timmy, that's where I finally blew my top in the chat and let Mokes know how I feel. Podcast, says uh, Joe. Gary says, so here's someone, something might speak to me in the middle of the night, call me Bigfoot name. Spook, just what I heard. Gary says, I was saying something else, but didn't catch it in time. What did I say? I've had this for so far, nothing. And Shalee says, I sent Mogs my messages. I don't want to talk about it. No mo. No mo. Uh, Batman says, who are you talking about? Who Who is who talking about? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what you're referring to there. Tim Boy says, tough shit, Mr. Lee. Spill it. Kyle Drake, Kyle's going to the Squatch Cowboy. Anyway, so so that that incident in the restaurant made me think of this clip. I sense something, a presence I've not felt since. <laughs> And I just wanted to get out. I mean, because one that, you know, the history, but two, <clears throat> you know, social anxiety. You know, her, she was sitting there with her parents, who, of course, I knew who they were, and I needed to get the fuck out. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Replicator says, at the bat mom, hello. I think they're talking about Moog something on his channel. I'm confused with it, too, on a certain point. It's a long story, um, Raptor. It's a long story. You kind of, if you... You know, follow, you know, like, you know, that they went on a trip and some stuff happened on that trip. And then people were asking questions and then some people got all pissed off about the questions because they didn't like the way things were being asked and words were being put in people's mouths. That the, the way, you know, it was just like when Barry Browning was getting all you know, pissed at me. And he he said that I said that they did hoax. And I said, no, I what I was trying to say at the time was I wouldn't put it past them to hoax. I wouldn't put it past them to try and hoax. That was at the 168. And it's basically the same thing where people you say one thing and they hear another and then they get all pissed at you. And that's where that's what a lot of it was. Um. Now, some of it, people maybe legitimately feel like I'm an asshole for my position on certain things. Because, you know, uh, there are different ideas of ethics in the world. Uh, uh, ethics are really an opinion, really. Like, they're, ultimately, there's no actual right or wrong, right? That's It's always an opinion, period. No matter how much you think 
because humans do all kinds of different shit. There's different ideas of what right and wrong is depending on what culture you're in. Um, there's a cult. There's cultures where eating people is completely correct behavior, and then there's cultures like ours that are extremely averse to eating people. <clears throat> so, anyway, yeah. Joe says, I want to talk about me, Toby Keith. Miss Lisa Timboy, you know, I don't agree. Lockbeard has been called a bully and a pedo, and I was told to fuck off. Don't sit right with me. Yeah, that shit got that shit got wild. That shit got wild. I don't even know. Like, because you know, I'm going through commentary on a bunch of different live streams and putting everything together to kind of show like what the climate of things were, how things like how I was talking the whole time and some other people and, and try to show where this shit just went totally South at some point. So it's going to be, it may be a little, it might be a little tedious, but I feel like shit, shit, went wild when it, it really shouldn't have and because you know witch hunt witch hunt a witch hunt happened witch hunts happen you know people like people think that they are and they, and they think they get upset like if you suggest that people can be influenced if you suggest they can be influenced they think you're calling them dumb or weak or anything like that man shit shit hap it happens you know you know, mass hysteria events happen. Like when all those nuns started meowing and it was spreading to different convents and different fucking countries and shit where all the nuns were just meowing. They were acting like fucking cats. And they were, some of them were biting each other. It was crazy. It was a mass hysteria thing. And you're like, this is like, this is fucking weird. How the fuck did this happen? Because we're fucking humans. That's why. And this kind of shit happens. The laughing epidemic. I can't remember where that happened at. Where are the kids... There were the kids just started just, just just laughing. They wouldn't stop. And it got so bad they had to shut down the schools. <laughs> Look this shit up. I can't remember what I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. This shit happened. This shit happened. It happens all the time. I mean his, history historically anyway. Anyway, I think it happens more often than we think it does now, like especially with the politics and stuff. Like this whole like woke shit is basically a mass hysteria event. And I think history will look back on it and 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 totally call it out for what it is. Psychologists will be studying this shit for years to come. How the media manipulated people, the politicians, you know, were in on it to get these people to behave a certain way. And they started just demanding more and more ridiculous shit all right up to uh, abor like abortion. When a baby pokes his head out the vagina, you can still club it in the head and call it abortion. He can poke his head out, say mommy, they don't give a fuck. They'll club it in the goddamn head. And they'll still call it, they'll call it abortion. No, it's goddamn murder. But but they've got people actually thinking shit like that. They got they got people who who on the far left who actually want to legalize and have pedophilia recognized as an acceptable sexual orientation. You heard me fucking right. There are some people who actually believe that shit. There, there. This is some far left shit. Now the rest of them may not come out and, and champion it, but you better goddamn believe if Hillary Clinton said we need to we need to recognize this, they can't help it. This is the way they feel, and we need to the, to legalize it and recognize it as a legit sexual orientation. The entire goddamn Democrat Party will jump on board, guaranteed. And the, and the Republicans will do the same shit on their stuff that they're crazy about. So don't get me wrong. I don't want to pick either side. They're both they're both mass hysteria events. That, you know, it rises and falls. It, you know, shit gets wild and then it calms down. And it just depends. The media plays them like a fiddle. The politicians do too. It's all mass hysteria events. But it's guided. It's controlled. The government knows what the fuck they're doing. They know how to manipulate people. And make people behave the way they want them to.
No nothing. Mr. Lee, it was Browning, right? Yeah, it was Browning. Yeah, he hadn't showed up. Bat Mom, he hadn't showed up here for months. After he figured out I didn't want to deal with his bullshit, I wasn't going to, you know, he wanted me to let him on camera. I'm like, no, you can say whatever the fuck you want in chat. You know, you can be, you can, you know, twist things in chat all you want, but I'm not letting you into my, into my, in, on my screen. And I think that's, I think that's a, I think that's a reasonable line. I'm not, you, you, no, no, that's not even what, like I don't typically do. Um, so he showed up here after months. Why? I, he, he clearly would only be coming here to start shit. So, and that's exactly what he, what he did. Joe says, if you eat, I, uh, Joe says, I'd eat you if I absolutely had to survive Lockbeard. Just saying survival is survival. <laughs> Green Paul says, we aren't supposed to eat. Um, never mind. <laughs> Welcome to the chat, Green Pauls. There isn't enough ketchup. <laughs> oh. Mr. Lee says, and then everyone removed their comments. That's rubbish. No support for Lockbeard. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even gone back and looked. I bet a bunch of them did. Um, uh, this is why I need, like, um, like, Cause I'm just, you know, I'm on the laptop and I'm, you know, that's why I really need a, like a proper, uh, office or studio or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I can get set up to where I'm recording stuff live so that when people pull this bullshit right here, I'm better able to, uh, you know, pull it up and, uh, I'll have a copy that they can't change because I got a copy of it and I can show it later. <clears throat> and just just record every show like that on a separate uh, separate uh, laptop. And uh, I just don't. I'm just. I think got it, it. It's hard enough to do shit like this just out of a vehicle like this. <laughs> but uh, to try and do all that, just it just be that much harder. But I would like to be able to do that. That way, when people do this bullshit here and want to want to, you know, hit and run and, you know, fleeing the scene of the crime and, and hiding the evidence. Like if if you look, you people that removed your comments, I'm sure some of you. I mean, I've never seen 33 people. Uh, there's over 30 people in here right now. You people that removed your comments, you just delegitimize everything you fucking said. If you were so goddamn right, why did you remove your comments? That's pretty goddamn. That's pretty damn cowardly. You, you put your words down, and then you and then you and then you took them off. Really, man, that's some pussy ass shit right there. <laughs> it's ain't. It, hey, I ain't vault of of nonsense. I ain't gonna threaten to kill your ass. I mean, I I fully support your right to free speech. And hey, you have a right to pull your comments down too. But I have a right to call you a pussy for doing it. I mean, if you can't. St- if you can't if you can't stand by the consequences of your words that you said you know which is going to be social consequences i want to make that clear um no one is ever under any physical threat from 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 me i'm not like those douchebags the dark waters crew and vault of nonsense and apparently fucking mr duffy over here mr duffy fuck um there's none of that shit going on. I, I I thought that shit wasn't even allowed on YouTube. How those fucks get away with that? I don't know. Anyway, but um, you should uh, if you if your comments were worth shit. So and I'm just going to take it that way, Mister Lee. Their comments were so irrelevant that I don't need them. Like, you know, if they were if they thought they were so right, they would have left their comments up. So fuck them, fuck them, Mister Lee. I mean, if they're, you know, whatever. Um, Joe says, hey, if we were lost to sea, I'd eat every damn one of you if I had to. So live with that info. Green Paul says, are nuns eating cats now? Sorry, ADHD. No, 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 no. There was a mass hysteria occurrence where a nun 
started just meowing like a cat. And then the other nuns around her started doing it. And then it just, they just kept doing it. It was like, they just kept meowing like cats. And some of them start biting each other and it spread to other convents. And it was like in multiple countries, these nuns were meowing and acting like cats. It was, it was, it was, it was some weird, some, well, some people say that, you know, it might be, have something to do with that. Like a lot of them, they didn't want to do that. They were kind of, their family made them become nuns and it kind of drove them nuts. Um, so that could, that could have contributed to it. But you only need one person to, for other people to see, like other people see one person doing something weird or unusual. And then they just start, you know, it's like when you're in a room and um, with a bunch of people and um, uh, let's say in your restaurant and you re reach for your cup and take a drink. Other people, even if they see it in their peripheral vision, they'll take a cue off of that and they'll reach for the cup and take a drink. They'll reach for their cup and take a drink. And if you're if you're if you're paying attention to that, like you, you like you know, try it sometime. If you're in like a restaurant or something like that, um, you'll know who's kind of that at least on some level they're aware of you and and observing you. But don't let them know you're watching them, right? So you reach for your cup, take a drink, and then see who is going with your rhythm. <clears throat> it, if you know enough about psychology, you could seriously, like, control people so easily sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. Tim Boy says, sometimes you find the real and people have limitations, so they not the people you thought. Some live in a in black, some live in white. The world is gray. Some people have a problem with that, Mr. Lee. Uncle Bone says, put it where Moog's misread my put it put in where Moog's misread my chat post and would not correct it. Tells me he did on purpose. In my opinion, others seen it happen. I'll, I'll look, uh, where was it? Where was it exactly? I remember it, but I don't remember exactly where it was at. I'm bound to run across it. I, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Cause I've been going through like a lot of stuff. So bigger than mine. <laughs> Tim Boy says, Uncle Bones, it was noticed. This release is Tim Boy. I thought people have integrity. I called them friends. Green Paul says, Lockbeard, they have people thinking they club babies as they are born. That's insane. People are nuts. Well, partial birth abortion is what I'm talking about. Partial birth abortion. But, you know, there's some that want to even push it just a little bit further, you know, push it a little bit further. But uh, if you're not aware of partial birth abortion, look into that whole fuck tardia. Uh, Western North Carolina. Note to self, eat chess boards, trigger finger first. <laughs> Uncle Bones says, thanks, Timmy. Meredith says, Gary, be careful. You don't want to let them have that much power over your mind. Personally, I'd ignore them. If I was getting mind speak, mention the name of Jesus Christ and watch what happens. It stops it. Donald says, fully observed bones. Jen's here. Welcome. F fingers. I'm Amy Dextrous. Amy Dextrous. Amy De Amy Dextrous. <laughs> ambidextrous Meredith says Gary that's if you want what they're doing to stop and be gone yeah he might not want to stop thanks for the heads up <laughs> chess board thanks for getting it my lady says Drake Green Paul says I mean the government is freaking screwed up they can't manage health care but they rock at helping pedos what's up with that uh, I mean it's just absolute crazy ass corruption I mean, it's, 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 
it's insane how corrupt it is that and they just they just get away with it they just get away with it uncle bone says workstation <laughs> yeah something something this really says i don't understand what all the what well part of the issue is is like like i can't even make when, once it gets to hot enough like this this thing has to be shut down i just i can't it won't run and the more i try to push it it's going to damage it and then i'm out you know a couple thousand dollars worth of computer and then then this whole this whole show is done mr lee says i don't understand what all the big deal is but no pedal talk and i can't accept no one telling me to fuck off why it makes no sense peeps hurts me big yeah i don't know what the hell he felt that was necessary for he came here just to start shit mr lee i guess uh joe says great all this talk of eating people and i'm hungry now or could it be the herb could be a little of both mr lee says even brandy asked me if i was drunk what the fuck Gary says, uh, John Walker, follow up my Ordell, very end, did come across big time ghost, did not bother these things anymore. Donald says, okay, folks, I got a tractor pull I have to mod for, watch the rest later. Um, thanks for coming, Donald. Um, I'm trying to wrap her up pretty quick here myself. I'm this four hours, <laughs> uh, not trying to do four hours, trying to do two hours. <laughs> uh, most welcome, sir. Uncle Bones says, have fun, Donald. Mr. Lee says, remove comments, yes. That one says, took comments from live chat or comments on the show. Yeah, I mean, the good, the good thing is, is like I put a little, you know, as, as many comments as I can up like this. And so they're still, they're still there. But um, what I'd rather do is have a, a separate computer, which I do have one that I could do that with, but Again, getting that set up here is is not feasible. So, but what I could do is set it up and just put it on screen record. So it just it records the show as it's happening, and then have that as the record of what what happened that night. Green Green Paul says Waffle House was great. Wi-Fi. We learned this covert access to homeschool. Um, and I think if I, I don't know, there's a different system I could get set up on. I think, I don't know what it's called, but where the chat, you can make the chat come up on the screen. So then all the chats recorded there and just do it that way too. That could be a way to do it, I guess. But cause I don't need a, that would be better than doing it the other way. all tractor pill taffy pull raptor says mr lee the video was on his channel the latest one or a couple after that timmy boy says mr lee with what i was involved in there is no real people it's how well you read people and use them as long as possible it in this this relates to bigfoot community in the same same game lower stakes is all Green Paws, the meowing is crazy. They do adopt habits easily, though. There's another mod in the chat. Red the crazy Lockbeard. Phenomenon number 57. This is Mr. Lee. Um, Joe says, I'm lost. I don't know how I got lost. Probably should have took that left turn at Albuquerque. Green Paul says, uh, Lockbeard, say lemons five times and this whole chart will be drooling. What? what? Chart? The chat? Why would they Why would they be drooling? Lemons, 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 lemons. You talking about the uh, mental control? Yeah. Possibly. Doc, don't fool says, uh, yeah, Bones, he's happy as long as one of us is modding. Uh, Mary just talking to Gary there about PTSD, emotional support, dog. Uncle Bone says, Lockbeard, you will see it. I asked him numerous times to read it correctly. 
Was it, was it on my show last week? Is that where it was? Or was it on his show? Mr. Lee says, I just can't understand how everyone is so upset. Jeez, man, get a stiff upper lip. Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. You know, if 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 the event was bothersome, would, wouldn't, wouldn't learning that maybe it was not not anything not what you thought it was wouldn't that be a relief wouldn't that uh put your mind at ease because i i think the images clearly show uh, uh, enough you know but uh you know you know mr Lee. Angel says, not a problem, Jen. I haven't either. Listen, pay attention to chat. Sometimes, I, some days I can't do both at this at once. Yeah, it's hard to sometimes. Okabon says, Mr. Lee, some people love to stir the shit at anyone's expense. We are finding some, and sadly, others close to us are led astray. Mr. Lee says, please be fair, peeps. All I ask, and don't fight knuckleheads. Joe says, okay, I got to go eat some fingers. Don't worry. They're chicken fingers. Don't get all nervous on me now, people. Thanks for coming, Joe. See you later. Barbecue sauce or Bigfoot sauce. Nom, 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 says Uncle Bones. Raptor Crazy says, Lockbeard, could it have been that girl that's been on your chat before? Under a different name, starting crap. No, we know who this guy is. Barry, we know who it is, Raptor. It's Barry Browning. You've seen him interviewed on a couple people's shows. He went to the 168. He didn't like. He didn't like that that some of us were criticizing 168. Chessboard says, uh, "Joe, uh, no worries here. Never eat anything that eats with its pecker." What the fuck? Meredith says, Mr. Lee, it's all good. And people who know the real you and Tom will chill out and let stuff go. If they don't like what they are hearing, there's the door. You have the only keys that fit. Thanks. Yep. Echo Bones says, Lockbeard, it was on his show. It helped. I helped him get to Florida, helped him get to Arizona. He forgets that now. I'm done with Moogs. Squash Cowboy says, do you know how to tell a chicken from a rooster by the size of its pecker? Jen says, okay, I have to work in the morning. So stop by to say hi and chat fam. Have a good night, all. Thanks for coming, Jen. But we're gonna try, I'm going to try and wrap her up pretty quick. So you're probably not going to miss anything. All right. Did better this tonight. Not going into four hours. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Okay, Mr. Lee. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. Uncle Bones says goodnight to Jen. Thank you, Chessboard. Y'all have a good night.